All right, Dukes, welcome to our podcast, Waffle Talk, sponsored by The Breeze. This is your host, Patty Stacks. We got the major over here. Hey, what's up? Manoa. What's going on? Black Bear, a.k.a. Black Bear. We got D-Hall Jack. Hello. Jack Merlin's his real name. D-Hall Jack yep. in the and house. And Manoa's joining us for the day, so. And we are live Special from. Special guest star. Yeah, got thrown in here. We are live from Waffle House this, uh, this morning. This yeah, fine no, day. On this afternoon, actually. Yeah, we're not going to have you eat with us all the time, so no. you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> but I just ordered some bacon and some butter toast today. I already went in on some D-Hall this morning. There you go. Well, I mean, you know, speaking of food, you know, and I mean, you guys are college kids. I mean, I guess I don't count anymore since I graduated, but according to this article in The Breeze, there we go, page six, 10 easy meals on the college, college budget. budget. This really See, this is, a, this is effective for a lot of kids who are, you know, scraping together their dining dollars, you know, oh, just yeah, have absolutely. to you get, go in on those vending machines. Freshman year, I would just stock up on, on like, Cheetos and Pop-Tarts Get and the cinnamons. ramen noodles, man. Like, four in the, the morning. Yeah, just put, like, four bananas in all of your coat pockets. Oh, I've filled up a backpack breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner, dessert. Before with <laughs> straight fruit, bananas, oranges, apples, just filled up an entire backpack and walked out with it. Right, well, I actually walked out with my coffee mug the other day. I was on my way to class, and I just walked you straight just out with the, just copped it. No, I, I was drinking it as I walked out. Uh, but we just admitted that. Yeah, so. absolutely. On the air. Um, on but the this, air. this is number three, an easy meal. It says love. More filling than any type of food you can find is the gratifying warmth of having someone care about you. That was almost oh. Valentine's Day. That's too. never happened. For love me, is so. more satisfying than anything else, oh, and no. and a meal made with love. How, how long? How long? Truly you, shows how long that someone cares about love. you. Yeah. How long does it take to cook love? Yeah. How long does it take to cook love? Well, and a good at what question. stage in the relationship? Because if I, you know, if it's like a quick hookup, right? Do I have to make them anything? We're not talking I'm about like, this. Is love oh, no, is the actual is meal? Like the joke. The, the whole point is the joke, is, not food. Oh. oh. Thank you. This is this is definitely some interesting some interesting bacon, bacon we got here. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag interesting can I, bacon. Can I steal one? Yeah. Oh, no, but oh here you go, D Hall Jack. You. There's your big boy meal. Big boy happy what, meal. What'd you get? Jack? I got the um, Texas bacon yeah. cheese. I think steak that proves milk. our point about love. Um, like no, okay, but so love make, is the meal. Making food for someone and making food for yourself is a really rewarding experience. Well, and that can yeah, go, I, mean, like, I don't know. That could set you up for to go down a really dirty road. But we won't do that. I mean, oh, I cook eat, all eat. the time. Um, I, my friends actually call me chef because I have like a chef's outfit that yeah, I'll wear when I seriously? cook. Yeah, no. Um, my grandma uh, got me this chef's outfit from France. She recently went to Paris. Oh, because wow. she knows I love to cook, oh, so. Waffle for D Hall Jack. Look at that. You got a lot of stuff. But I mean, there. wait, like you wear yeah, the chef outfit by yourself? Work. Oh yeah, I'll just totally. in your room. I just, I just wear it to be funny when I cook. Like <laughs> I actually have like the, the big chef hat. And oh, that's that's so cool. Cool. At least you're cooking. If you just walk around yeah, the house no, no, in a no, chef no. costume, that's a little silly. No, 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 no. Do you guys watch um cook. guy guy Fieri drivers dine in and dives? Oh yeah, man. Dude, he's ridiculous. Dude, like, every every white guy does. You you've admit it. Yeah. You've watched it by yourself. <laughs> watched what? We're gonna turn a pig into a goat, into a chicken, Here. inside of a turkey, inside of a cow. Here. All wrapped up into a Cornish demon. <laughs> Here, we're live. And that's what's special about Harrisburg. They have great waffles. <laughs> yeah, no, you really gotta formula. get in there with the oh. syrup. No, but, a toast? Oh, that's me, thank you. Here, you um, got the but this first. no, this morning at D Hall, I literally went in on two waffles, put chocolate chips up on that, mm. had French toast syrup all up in that. Um, freaking went in some on some eggs, some potatoes, some fruit, dude. So I had a right. I knew well, you were coming to Waffle House. Why'd you uh? Why'd you go to D Hall? Dude, that, I had my greens in the morning. I did cheating. my green ritual in the morning. But that's that's like what I, I missed though, because like I I'm off campus now. I'm a sophomore and I don't have a meal plan. And the one thing I miss the most is being able to like go to D Hall or to E Hall for brunch. Like yeah. that is the best. After yeah. you wake up and you're you yeah. know 
hung over from from all that water that you had the night before. <laughs> all the soup, the yeah, soup, the, soup, the, soup, soup the chicken noodle soup, man. Dude, that, I just worst, I just felt really rough. good this past weekend because I didn't go out the uh, Friday night, mm-hmm. didn't drink, wake, woke up, went to D Hall at like. That's why we don't have any morning, stories for you guys. Went to <laughs> went to Urec. I felt great. Like went on the bike, did a little workout, put my tunes in. Had yeah, a great I, D-hall I mean, it's, I've gotten to the point where I'm much this rather. Bacon is, is quite, quite the treat. <laughs> <laughs> the hashtag interesting it's bacon. Just, yeah. It's the the bacon's like a weird but off brown. It's yeah, like a but brown. I think that's what's throwing me off. It looks like steak. I mean, but the tastes, waffle looks it delicious. Fine. Does I mean, it taste like good? bacon? I think. It looks like wood. Hashtag first world, <laughs> first world problem. <laughs> yeah, my bacon doesn't but, look like bacon. <laughs> my bacon looks like a different meat that I usually eat during <laughs> the week. But then we got um, number nine on this list of ten easy meals on a college budget is pizza eaten upside down. Eating pizza is a college favorite, but eating pizza upside down is a new craze that's seriously delectable. Next time you order a pizza, just flip it over before you eat it. Hmm. That is an interesting proposition. No, because because I definitely think um, like That's having the, the cheese and like the toppings hit your taste buds first yeah. would be like a different experience because you get that kind of flat bread crust first. So I think this like is Chicago just, style pizza. Yeah, almost. this is just like a suggestion to live spontaneously and switch up your normal routine of doing things. Or they could be just totally messing with you. No, it's fun. I mean, I'm gonna oh, try. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I mean, my I'm gonna have pizza tonight for a Super Bowl party. Eat it I'm upside gonna, down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll Eat text you guys. Like, well, cause like how it is. I think we all, you know, fold it in half so you get that kind of makeshift yeah, calzone. Do, yeah. That's that way Long Island way of eating Except it. Except I do. It. I admit. I like an occasional fork and knife. Now, if it's There's really, really about hot. It. There's something about it. Yeah. yeah. It's really hot. Like uh, like you guys go to Benny's. Yeah. yeah. Benny's like that pizza, is a fork and knife requirement. Like bigger than your head. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had that the other week. But by myself, it was a little depressing. <laughs> no, I think I think it's nice to go out and kind of treat yourself to a meal sometimes. Like it, it depends how comfortable yeah. you are with being by yourself. But, yeah, oh, but I love then doing I, that. Then I people watch, and yeah. then that just turns into being weird. See, that's my problem. If I could sit and focus on my food and not think about other people, it'd be a great like. That is true. Zen if experience. I start making yummy noises. <laughs> yeah, that's noises. never a good thing. Yeah, no, it's, I'm like. You're like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a better. That's why I can ex- never get a second date. It's a better. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> it's a better experience because then you're more mindful of what you're eating and you're like appreciating it and not just like trying to have a conversation. With well, someone. it's like, it's a time like right now I can't really eat because yeah. I'm talking. Like, yeah, it's like, it's a time to like self reflect too. Yeah. I think. I mean, I'm into like self-reflection and meditation. You're and into stuff, that, so like, that's that's good, man. Yeah, I can't get down with it. No, I mean, I I, I like no? spending time by as much as I love being with people and friends. Like, I like spending time by myself and just kind of like working on myself, I guess. Really? Just taking time to relax. Yeah. <laughs> really? That sounds wow. crazy. Well, you know what it dude, is, dude. You're too in your head, man. You're all in your well, brain. Dude, I have all the time. to be. I'm a, I have to constantly be talking to people. But see, I know how you feel. Because, like, I like being alone because uh, I'm, like, pretty introverted. But I'm so, like, I've got a lot of, like, nervous energy all the time. Nervous, yeah. And that's my problem with, like, meditation is I can't ever get to that point where there's nothing else in my well, head. Well, that's the thing. It's, like, that's why you, you have to yoga keep trying. And exercise. Just, like, yeah, I'm the same way. Like, I, it was hard for me to, to not think about something. But the more you try, you kind of just slip into... You finish um, your wood chips yet? Into no. it. I've been, work, I've been working on it for years. But, but like, I try, like, once a week, and it's been just, like... Something is always coming up. Well, speaking of meditation, um, there's Madison Meditates. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from like 12 to 1 and Tuesday, Thursday from 12.30 to 1.30. Yeah. I like meditating on and my own, like, honestly, though. But Yeah, I um, understand that. It's a cool group on campus. Yeah, Madison Meditates is just like really chilled, relaxed, like a small group kind of atmosphere. Yeah. I really liked it. I wish I could do it this semester. Well, if there's yoga time. pants involved, <laughs> then you're down. We'll be there. Oh, well, you can just go to UREC and there's yoga pants there. Oh, the new but UREC is it's pretty beautiful. Sweet. It's so, like, I was kind the of... The views you get from the fourth floor on the track of, yeah. of campus are pretty sweet. It's so nice. I was honestly so even, surprised with how just big it feels. Yeah. The I, sauna wasn't even that hot. They had a problem with the sauna, but I think they, that was just a problem that, that could be fixed. What was really weird is uh, when I first went in, my uh, roommate works there, and I went to pick her up. And, you know, they've got the old weight room all walled off. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing. Like, I felt really claustrophobic. I was like, where did everything go? Well, I mean, that's how I feel on a daily basis. 
claustrophobic. Yeah. Over time. You want to sit on the outside? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I don't know. We, we can switch. You're keeping me warm. Oh. Uh, that sounds weird, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's all for the Dank Grub. Um, join us next time on Wednesday. We're going to have Manoa Worth, digital video and cinema student, come on and talk about some stuff that he's working on. So have a, have a good couple days, Dukes. We'll join you next time.